On farmlands near South Bend, Indiana, work has already started on what will be the largest solar farm ever built in the U.S. Here are the details. The Associated Press reports that northern Indiana will become the home of America's largest solar farm. Dubbed Mammoth Solar, the project will cover around 13,000 acres, or 5,261 hectares, which is about the size of 9,850 American football fields. Work has already started on the site, which straddles the border between Stark and Pulaski counties, 80 kilometers southwest of the city of South Bend. The farm will eventually have a total of 2.85 million solar panels and is expected to be fully operational by 2024. At that point, it will generate a total of 1.65 gigawatts of electricity, enough to power 250,000 homes. Most of the power will be used by the homes and businesses around the project. Whatever isn't used will continue to travel farther along the lines until it's consumed. With the UN's latest alarming report on climate change, more and more large renewable infrastructure projects are likely to be green-lit, meaning the title of the world's largest solar farm will likely change hands several times in the coming years. Organizers say the construction project will create 500 jobs, and the finished, fully operational solar farm will create at least 50 new, full-time jobs. Facebook is partnering up with Long Road Energy, a renewable energy developer, to build a massive solar farm in Texas. Called the Prospero Solar Project, the Associated Press reports the farm will occupy 18 square kilometers. This is more than five times the size of New York City's Central Park. According to Engadget, the solar farm will have a capacity of 379 megawatts. This is part of Facebook's plan to use renewable energy to power its data centers. Facebook's data centers are used to store images, videos, and other user information. Engadget reports that Facebook is already using renewable energy for 75% of its business as of last year. According to Facebook Sustainability, the company intends to become 100% energy efficient by 2020. A massive renewable energy project is underway in Australia that would include the construction of the world's biggest solar farm and the world's largest battery to deliver electricity using the world's longest submarine power cable to Singapore, according to a report in Science Alert. The Australia Asian Power Link would include a 10 gigawatt array of photovoltaic panels spread across 15,000 hectares, an area equal to 20,000 soccer fields, in the remote Northern Territory town of Tennant Creek, roughly halfway between Darwin and Alice Springs. Sun Cable, the company that owns the project, says on its website that electricity generated by the solar plant would be stored during the Australian day at a gigantic 30 gigawatt battery in Darwin and transmitted in the evening to Singapore. The network would transport electricity from the solar farm at Tennant Creek, north to Darwin, and then on to Singapore via a 4,500-kilometer high-voltage direct transmission network. Some of the electricity would be used in Darwin and plug into the Northern Territory grid, but most would be exported via a 3,800-kilometer submarine cable running along the ocean floor. Sun Cable says it could provide 20% of Singapore's power needs, The Guardian reports, helping the city-state wean itself from its dependence on increasingly expensive gas-fired power. That is, if the project continues to move forward. The Washington Post reported in August that the Singapore government was non-committal about its interest. According to the current plan, construction would begin in 2023, energy production would start in 2026, and the exported electricity would start flowing in 2027. China has broken ground on a project that aims to put miles of solar panels in space and use them to power a massive microwave emitter that will hang 23,000 miles up in the sky. Here is hoping that the giant microwave beam does not go off target and start frying miles of Earth's surface. Here are the details. The Times reports that China's government plans to launch a fleet of mile-long solar panels into space by 2035 and beam the energy back to Earth. The basic concept involves a space station with a solar array to convert solar energy into electrical energy, then it would use the microwave transmitter or laser emitter to transmit the energy to a collector on Earth. The Earth-based station will then transfer the microwave energy back into electrical energy from where it would be fed into the grid. As part of this ambitious project, Beijing has broken ground on the new Bishan Space Solar Agency station in the city of Chongqing. 
the station will begin tests by the end of the year, with the hope of having a functioning 1 megawatt solar energy station by 2030. By 2050, China plans to have the station fully operational and producing a gigawatt of power, the same output as the largest nuclear reactor in China. Space-based solar systems can be much more efficient because it's always sunny in space, and the sunlight does not get filtered by Earth's atmosphere and clouds. The idea of space-based solar power stations has been around since 1941. Science fiction writer Isaac Asimov first wrote about them in the short story Reason. In the story, he wrote about a space station that transmits energy collected from the sun to various planets by using microwave beams. A number of concept designs were created in the 1970s, but none were deemed economically viable. Tesla is building a monster battery near Melbourne, Australia. Here is what you need to know. The Australian state of Victoria has announced that a massive 300 megawatt battery will be built in partnership with Tesla and French renewable energy company Neowin. The facility will help stabilize the local grid as use of renewable energy increases, the state's premier said in a press release. New Atlas reports the Victorian big battery will be built near Geelong, roughly 70 kilometers or 43 miles southwest of Melbourne. It is expected to provide surge capabilities up to 300 megawatts and 450 megawatt hours of energy storage. It would be triple the size of the original 100 megawatt Tesla facility built at Neowin site in Hornsdale, South Australia, which was the largest in the world when it began operations in 2017 and has since been upsized to 150 megawatts. Geelong is ideally situated near a number of wind farms and solar installations, as well as transmission lines linking much of the state and the national power grid. Tesla's autobidder software will make real-time decisions on where to distribute electricity. This big battery will deal with load spikes, allowing for coal-fired power plants to be run at more reliable levels of output. The Victoria government says it will also help the state reach its renewable energy objective of 50% by 2030. The state says the battery will also help lower electricity prices by storing renewable energy, as wind farms and solar installations do not always produce energy exactly when it is needed. Unlike the first ginormous battery built by Elon Musk's company, the battery in Victoria will not be constructed within 100 days, but it is scheduled to go online at the end of 2021. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.